Okay, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to find the mode that a piece of music is written in. Okay, and this can be done pretty easily by just studying the chords that are played in the song. Now, this is important uh, for really for those of you who want to um, improvise over chord progression so you know where to start. You know what scale to start with and uh, then you can get into all the chord tones uh, and the chord tone targeting. So <clears throat> the first thing you need to do, I've created a very helpful tool for you to use. Uh, you can find it by going to the little menu when you click your name in the top right hand corner of the website that what where it says welcome and then your name you click that a little menu pops up and there's a link on there called helpful tools and in that you will find a pdf called modal harmony this refers to all the chords in a particular mode all the diatonic chords the chords made up of just those notes in those modes and what I was playing for you at the beginning there was a chord progression written in Dorian, okay? Now, let's talk about how did I know that that was Dorian? Well, you, it can be determined by studying the chords that are used. I was playing A minor to D dominant seven, could have been just D major, okay? Uh, we, we can add the sevens, but we're gonna work in triads mainly but when you add the seventh degree, it, it can add a lot of color. So if you look at that modal harmony PDF and you look under Dorian, we have the degrees of the scale, root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, sixth, flat seven. Each of those degrees have a corresponding chord, and I've told you what they are without you having to do the work, although you can um, do the work but it's already here for you. The root is minor. The second degree is a minor chord. The flat third is played as a major chord. The fourth is played as a major chord. The fifth is played as a minor chord. The sixth is played as a diminished chord. And the flat seven is played as a major chord. So what was I playing? I was playing A minor. to D7, okay? What's D7? D7 is a major chord with a flat seven incorporated into it, right? Right there. That's our flat seven. That is in A Dorian, right? That's our A Dorian scale. Sorry, uh, right? So the A minor is the root, and the four, the D, is the four chord, which in Dorian is a major chord. Our dominant seven, I played it as a dominant seven chord because I wanted to make it kind of bluesy sounding, and, but it's still a major type chord, right? We could play as a regular D major. Okay, so we know it's Dorian. Could it be anything else? Well, let's go and look through, through that sheet. What else has a minor root in a major four chord? Um, not Phrygian, not Lydian, not Mixolydian, not minor or Aeolian, and not Locrian. It's pretty much narrows it down to Dorian. So there's one example. Let's take a look at, um, let's, well, let's add, let's, let's do something else in Dorian. Let's do root to uh, the minor five. So we're 
we're playing A minor to E minor. Okay, so this one might be a little trickier. So that could be Dorian, because the root and the five are minor chords, right? But it could also be minor. Because the root and the five is also their minor. So when you have a two chord progression like that, you could probably use minor or Dorian to solo over that. Because it's, there's nothing really distinguishing it. If you add a third chord in there, for example, if we went maybe, if we went A minor to E minor to D major, now you would have to study those three chords and you would see that it no longer fits with minor or Aeolian because the four chord is a minor chord and it would only fit then with Dorian. So you can, you can figure this stuff out by studying this chart or this PDF, let's take a, a tune, um, let's do something different now. Let's study um, Louie Louie, okay, classic tune, G major to C major to D minor. Well, what's that? We, we all pretty much know that in major, if we were in the key uh, in, a ma in Ionian mode, major, major scale, it seems like it might be that, but that five chord is a minor chord. And in, in a major mode, in major Ionian, the five chord is a major chord. Root four and five are major chords. So something's up here, right? Well, let's look down through there. What mode has a root that's major, a four that's major, but a five that's minor. And you can get that out of the Mixolydian mode. Okay, so that's, that's actually written in Mixolydian. All right, so now let's do one more example that has a little bit more chord progression to it. We're going to use the example of Sugary by the Grateful Dead. Okay, so the song starts in B. Okay, so we have an intro that's B to E, okay? Both major chords. So far, it seems like B and E is the five of B. If I take my B major scale, one, two, three, four, five, there's E, there's B. Both major chords, seems like it's B major, okay, so far, because the, the first chord of the song is B. Not always, but typically that kind of indicates the home or the key center. So B to E. It could also be E though, right? Because E major, if you look, E in E major, B is the five chord. So it's one or the other, it's E major, B major, not sure yet. Let's examine a little further. What's the verse do? The verse, same thing, B and E. Okay, then we have this pre-chorus that goes F sharp to C sharp minor to A, to E. Then it goes B, C sharp minor, A, E. Okay, so we have an F sharp minor, a C sharp minor, and an A are all introduced. Okay. Well, let's let's start with our original thought that it was in B major. Okay, well, what is F sharp in B major? So we have B, C sharp, uh, we have D sharp, 
We have E, F sharp. F sharp is the five chord. Okay. Five chord as a minor chord. Well, we just learned in Louie Louie that when the five chord is a minor chord, possibly could be mixolydian. All right, well, let's, let's investigate further. Okay, so B is a major chord, E is a major chord, and the five, F sharp, is a minor chord. What about the C sharp minor? That's the two. What mode has the second degree as a minor chord? Dorian does. Uh, Mixolydian does. But Dorian does not have the five chord I'm sorry, the root as a, as a major chord. So Dorian's out. So we're, we're really down to Mixolydian here because major, um, the five chord would, would be major, right? So, so we're really at Mixolydian. Major one, major four, minor five. The C sharp minor is the second degree that it's, the, it's minor in, in the key uh, in Ionian or major scale but it's also Mixolydian, and we still have the five that's a minor chord that, that kind of blows out the theory that it's based on the Ionian mode. So we're, we're, really, we're really narrowing it down here to be Mixolydian. What other chord was introduced here? A. A major. Okay. This is a dead giveaway right here. Anytime you have the flat seven as a major chord, which is, so if we're in B, and we go to the flat seven, or. It's almost always Mixolydian, right? So in B Mixolydian, our three major chords are B, A, and E. Okay, the flat seven is A. And we know that Mixolydian is made up of root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and a flat seven. Only difference between the Mixolydian mode and the major mode, or Ionian. Okay, so I think we've pretty much determined that Sugaree is written in B Mixolydian. Okay, so now if you're wanting to improvise over that, you know you can start a good foundation for your solo is gonna be B Mixolydian, all right? So there you have it. I hope that helps in determining. I think it's good practice to, to analyze songs and figure out what was this written in. It can also help you write your own material when you understand um, the chord theory behind each uh, mode and you can write a lot of different stuff. So. There you have it. Hope that was a useful lesson on how to find uh, what mode a piece of music might have been written in.